the fourth lesson in this series is a continuation of the third phase. So where we left off is in this, where we're here and we have our hand on the floor and then completing the transition. And the way we're gonna complete the transition is, well, there's more than one way. It's gonna involve lifting the hand off the floor and bringing your posture to an upright position. This is the area where I see more differentiation, more different variation across the spectrum of kettlebell users that we can see online. And most commonly, I see an omission. And the omission is what we call the windshield wiper. So when I'm here, the windshield wiper involves a hip correction and you're gonna rotate the hip so that your hips are square. This is a crucial concept in the martial art because you have to face the opponent. You have to face the force. You have to face the challenge. And there's a time and a place for facing away, okay? However, in this position, you definitely want to face towards the force that you're applying. And it's very important that the hips are aligned in order to do that from this position. And so the most important uh, topic of this lesson is the idea that from here, now we have review the first three videos because I go into depth, I'm not going to review all the details here. We have the full range of motion. We have the difference between the artistic, where maybe I'm getting longer, and the martial, where maybe I'm staying really close to the ground and just doing a very simple transition as quickly as possible. And we have also the element that I introduced you to where we have the switch. That is switch into this position. <clears throat> so from here, the windshield wiper gives that correction. And now you, what you'll normally see me do is as I make this windshield wiper, I like to slide this foot in at the same time because I like to have my feet under me as I stand up. There's different ways. You may prefer for your body that is you're here, your foot's here, and you're stepping and coming forward. And again, that's gonna be a personal choice. We're always looking for, at least for me, that position that feels good, the position that I like, and the results that I'm looking for. If it's a certain amount of load, if it's a range of motion, that's very individual what your objective is, because of course, everything's easy until it's heavy. And so I really wanna focus on the martial art and the functional application where it's going to be a blend of force as well as fluidity, mobility. It's not one thing, okay? It's not just if the stronger guy is going to have their way because if the smaller guy has better movement and better leverage, he's going to use all of that force against the much larger opponent or the much greater force. And so we're really looking at the positioning. And so when we have this windshield wiper, we're coming here and correcting. <clears throat> and so that's really what you wanna practice is you wanna come with this windshield wiper here and that gives you this. Now without that windshield wiper, we're gonna see this. And that's what I most commonly see is when you do it my way, I'm gonna hip escape, I'm gonna build myself up. Boom, come here. <clears throat> and again, what's most common is to crunch, is to crunch, come up and over and then maybe a really high hip bridge. And now coming with a wide base, now as you come up, stepping here. Maybe 
be coming back. Once again, I'm not saying that's wrong. What I am saying is that the hip is gonna dictate. So if I'm here, I'm gonna have to step here. Whereas with the windshield wiper, I'm already corrected, okay? And so if I'm here and I try to step here, I'm offline, I'm off target, okay? And so this is a very important concept to understand when you need to be able to face the opponent. You have that hip correction and now your force is applied in the direction that you want it to be applied. Put the whole thing together one more time. The next video after this, well, that's gonna, gonna really focus on what happens after we stand it up. Now we're gonna bring it down. That's extremely important. also can come here. <clears throat> Most important take home lesson from this is regardless of how you're moving into the transitional position, once you set that rear leg in a wide base, now you're gonna make that correction so that you're facing forward. You may have your reasons where you actually do want to come here and that's perfectly acceptable because intention is the entire value that we're looking for in our practice is the intention of the movement, understanding the function sets you to have a clear intention. As always, share your input, questions, comments, feedback, suggestions, even challenges for that matter. Engage and look forward for the next lesson.